Hello friends, this is Jagbir Singh and today we are going to learn a very important topic transferring project standard from one project to another and the second thing which we will be learning is how to copy Revit families from one project to another. So I will be showing you both and I will be telling you why it is important and why we do it and what is the correct way of doing it so before we go for uh, go ahead i want to make a request that please like this video and subscribe my channel why like is important because it really helps me to reach more people when you like the video through al youtube algorithm so please like and subscribe so that we can make this family a bit bigger okay so now this is my rabbit project and it is you see it is completely empty it is having only the standard families which you which you receive from autodesk installation so these are the system families so you see in pipes it is not only uh, it is not having any uh, other pipe types or, or let's say carbon uh, steel schedule 80 schedule 40 or let's say brass or whatever the pipe so if i go pipe so it have only the standard pipes pipe types it is not having any i cannot choose let it is not ha uh, having like fitting or anything specified that's why so if you go here also then it is just single standard so first we will be learning how to bring revit families from other projects to your project in a single go the simplest way if you have want to bring any simple uh, single family in your project is by going insert and going for load families and then you can individually pick your family but what if you have to bring all the families in one go in your project and then you do not have to go again and again so so what we will you will do you will take a project which is already having the families and you will open in your Revit session uh, then let me show you how so I'm going here file and we are going for open and project and there is this sample project which is having a specific pipe type and it's fitting available in this one so this is dot rvt file that means it is a project file not rfa rfa would be a single family but what we are doing is we are bringing all the families in one go so i'm going to select it open and as it is in 2015 so it, it will be upgrading to 2018 so if you are uh, bringing a single family then also it will upgraded but now it is upgrading all the families which are available in that particular project so once that's done then we will go ahead okay so this particular project is having specifically a, spe a unique type of pipe i will show you so this is that pipe if i show you it's 3d then you can see this is the pipe and it is a carbon steel b press carbon and you can see routing preference and everything all the fitting sizes max sizes minimum sizes are specified so uh, if we have specified everything into other project then every detail of these things will be coming into your project so what i'm going to do is i'm now you see the the project this one is there so I, what i will do i will select and i will let's say copy or oh, and now i'm going to tap control and tap to go into other tab so now i am into the sample project one so what i will do is like i will go modify go for paste paste from clipboard so it will give a notice okay so this is the simplest way so it is saying there is a group and if i go for pipe now and is it 
now you see now it is coming in with the pipe with type which i copied so now i can go and it will automatically make the fittings why because in the routing preferences now you can see what other elbows or whatever the family you want to choose from it will be giving you all these ones you have different sizes available so let's go in uh, piping system let's say this one is there select this here add it and routing preference and then the one which i was showing you in the other project everything is here so this way you can copy families so this is just only the pipe but if you want to copy the families of cable trees of your uh, mechanical equipments your ducts your air terminals so you, what you have to do is just like copy from that project and then in wt you just close this uh, the source project i will call it source project and then you save it it will, now all these families will be yours family so this was a simple example but now what if you have to copy all the view templates your text uh, styles your annotation your all all the data which is available in your previous project to the uh, your target project why we do it because let's say uh, whenever we are working on a project depending upon the nature of the project it might take three months six months or one year or let's say two years so whenever we are working on a particular project for this long then we are we are habitual to using the families the view templates the filters so, so for example we create specific filters to sh for the representation purpose in the coordination meetings so you get very habitual to those settings and whenever you are starting a project from the scratch then you will be missing and you will you have to redo all those settings in the new project so to avoid this huge task and redoing all these tasks what you will do you will transfer the settings view templates your uh, title block settings your line types line weight all the filters your piping systems and everything from that particular project to the new project so you do not have to worry about the settings so let's see how to do it so this was the main purpose why we do project transfer uh, transfer project standard so what i'm going to do is like i'm going to undo uh, here so that means now all the pipe and everything is gone so what i will do is like i will i will open a project again this one which i have already used in my previous videos for the plant room design so if you haven't watched them already so i have created few videos on plant room design and pipe cut list so please go ahead and watch those videos and please make sure you like those videos and i have uh, i want to make a request also like if you want to learn revit dynamo or navis works from me at a professional level so that you can handle projects on your own then you can contact me on my email address which i will leave in my description of this video so you drop me email and we can talk further so i'm going to ignore continue project okay so so i'm going for 3d so this is the project So this is the project which I will be transferring uh, my tra uh, like project standards from here. So let me show you like if I go here and you can see now my view templates. There are so many, so many view templates here and you can go for, you can go for different, different families here let's say
diffuser tags, duct access recommends, duct length, and there are like my title sheet, just like this. In the pipes, size tag I have created for particularly sizes. Okay, so what we will be doing and now we will be going to the project tab. Now, so this is the project where we want to bring the standards here. So what we will do go for manage transfer project standards. So this is the option go for transfer. Now if you have multiple projects open in the same window then you will be having a list of the projects okay so now i want to copy from this particular project okay so if you do not want to copy everything again and again just want to copy one particular area let's say piping system so you can go for pipe system pipe settings and uh, piping system types and printing setting uh, settings so for one uh, so for example if you want to print the a0 in landscape a0 into horizontal scaled printing and let's say a1 scaled not scaled so all those printing settings also can be brought into the project so you do not have to go so now revision settings revival roof type section site whatever like every single thing view templates so wall types wire types wire setting every single thing if you do not want anything if you think already you have something in your project then you can untick that thing so i'm going for all and let's say okay so it will be saying okay So it will ask if you want to keep override or new only then you can choose i want to go for override it takes time because it is like getting all the all the data from that project which is huge and and i will be telling you how to remove all that families which you haven't used in in one particular project because whenever you have to send a file to somebody then you might uh, you, you will definitely need to keep this file as light as possible so all those families which you which are available in your project which you haven't used so how to get rid of those families because they will unnecessarily will increase the size of your file so now let's say if i want to go for a sheet here or let's say there is a sheet so now this is the uh, this is the title block i have so if i go here okay so let me see here so now you see all the systems are there of the previous uh, now previously we have only this this particular uh, this particular pipes uh, family but now we have victolic stainless medium copper carbon and generic pipes steel flanged all those things are there and the duct system i have i have all the all the duct systems available now i have uh, door i have i do not think i i brought those doors so all the annotation key plan everything is there so now what i was looking for title block
okay so it seems pipe accessory expansion joint cross reducer everything is there so this was uh, the end of the video so if you have uh, it was helpful for you then please like this video and please subscribe and if you want to join our whatsapp group where we we all the professional um, uh, uh, beam engineers coordinators or let's say beam managers are there from all over the world if you want to part of that group i will leave the whatsapp group link in the description wherever you if you are stuck in your project and you need any help quick quick uh, question if you want to ask from anybody and anybody can answer that then you can you can join our group so i will be leaving that into uh, into description so this is jagbir singh signing off Thank you.